Hi everyone, it's Kim McNeil. I'm a Canadian and a hockey fan. Usually those two things go together, and uh, if they don't, we don't like to talk about those types of people. But if you're anything like me, you've probably been spending a little bit too much time in front of the TV recently. And I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to use the NHL playoffs as inspiration for a little yoga sequence to stretch out the legs and uh, to get us, you know, a little bit less tight after spending all this time in front of, uh, in front of the TV. So, we're going to start with Supta Prangustasin, reclining hand to big toe pose. My, my cat's going to help out a little bit. Uh, what you need, comfortable space, you don't necessarily need a mat, just a little bit of room to spread out, and a strap if you tend to be a little bit tighter in the backs of the legs for this first, uh, first pose. Um, you don't specifically need a yoga strap. They're nice though that you can make a loop and adjust it depending on how you feel each day. Uh, I'm going to use one. You can use an old tie or uh, yeah, a towel if you had to. Um, just something to, to grab onto with the foot. So you're going to find yourself on your back, comfortable position, release down. Lower back issues, if you find that you're tighter here, keep the opposite knee bent. And then we'll start with the right leg, we'll lift it up, bend the knee, take the strap or the loop around the foot, the ball of the foot, and then extend the leg and hold on. I'd like the loop large enough so that you can grab hold and release this shoulder down. Nice straight arm, like a little bit of a pulley to add uh, some tensity into the stretch. Don't overflex the foot, keep it more relaxed, give the back of the calf a little bit more of a rest. We want to work to open up the back of the knee and the hamstring. Those areas that get tight when we're sitting on the couch a little too much. And then from here, breathe into it. Again, releasing the lower back down, not lifting the buttocks up, especially on the leg that's lifted. Keep the buttocks down and then work through your own range of motion. And as you hold the stretch, ideally between a minute and a half to two minutes, even if you can, per side, if the leg starts to release a little bit more, you can shorten the loop, reach a little bit higher, and maybe one day you'll get to not using the strap at all. And of course, if, um, if this looks completely crazy, and if you're more, let's say, down here, that's okay too. Again, adjust the strap so you can hang on comfortably, right shoulder down, lower back and buttocks down. That's really the only thing that's important not how high the leg is lifted. You want to make sure that you've got to stretch through the back of the leg and you've done your job. If you are lower than 90 degrees here with the leg, uh, there's always the option, and I love this option, to use the wall for support for the back of the heel. It makes it a little less intense. Mantles, <laughs> flipping around, mantles work well for this too, or wall. So when, get it nice and close, when you're holding on, the foot, release the heel to the wall there, opposite foot can come up and you can work this way and eventually one day you'll move off the wall by uh, doing your stretches every day. And then the second variation that you can use for Sukta Pengustasin, you will angle yourself for the wall, to the wall for this one, is a variation that stretches out the inner thighs or the adductors. So you may need to adjust, again, the loop, play with it. You can still have the shoulder down, and then we're going to release the leg out to the side. So if you're tighter, you'll come in closer to the wall, back of the heel is going to rest, lower back down, opposite buttock down, so you're not twisting and lifting up towards the wall. Okay, ground and hold here. If you're a little bit more flexible and you can come further down, Find another spot on the wall, it's a little bit lower. You may need to adjust your angle slightly and work here. Okay, and then one day you won't need the strap, you won't need the wall, and you'll come right down to the floor. It's just giving you a little bit of extra support, better than a bolster under the thigh, to keep that leg working and straight, and, uh, and to hold, I find, a little bit longer. Okay, and of course you'll want to come up and do the other side. And don't assume that both legs are going to be the same, right? You're going to have a tighter side. So always adjust. Think shoulders down, lower back, and buttocks down. Okay? So that's Supta Pranagastasin. Two variations, working on the backs of the legs and inner thighs. And now let's go to the front of the legs. Thighs, hips, hip flexors. Other things that uh, 
that get to be a little tighter when we spend too much time on a couch, on a couch or on a chair. So you'll use your mat, and we're going to start by doing a simple variation of a lunge. Roll one end of it up, so it's about halfway and rolled up. Depends on the thickness, but you can adjust that as you go along. So no magic here. Roll that. If it's older, not as thick, you may have to roll it a little bit more tightly. And then you're going to place, when you kneel for your lunge, place the top of the shin, and not the knee, top of the shin on the rolled portion of the mat, and knee off. That's going to support the knee. So you're barely touching down with, uh, with your knee, your back knee, just softly touching the mat, shin is supported, and then huh, no pain in the knee. Okay? So then once you're here, you come up, shoulders over the hips, pelvic tuck. So I really want you to pay attention to this area. Okay? Pelvic bones draw in and up, buttocks down, and you should be able to feel this through the front of the thigh and ideally the hip flexor. Okay? Hip flexors. Now, you can lean into it slightly, and by leaning I don't mean coming down over the leg this way. Keep your body up, but press gently that back thigh forward intensify the stretch here. Okay. And you know if you're impressed by hockey players, especially the goalies with their flexibility, you know they're doing stretches at least similar like this um, as part of their routine. So make sure you do both sides. You can also work on a basic lunge so you don't need the rolled mat unless you want support under the knee. Basic lunge, one foot forward, knee over the front heel. This time the hip, back hip comes forward from the knee, so it's not directly over. You still want to think, tuck the tailbone. Pelvic bones up, buttocks dropping down, and you can always use support under the hands if you're not as flexible here. Okay, if you tend to round the back to touch down. So holding here, and then make it a little bit more intense, tucking the toes. It's nice to take the weight off the heel, but then it's more active, right? Pressing back through the heel, thinking of drawing the back inner thigh up towards the ceiling so you're not rolling and twisting out to the side. Keep that nice tight lunge. Work on the hip flexors. Find your happy place. <laughs> Work through both sides, of course. You don't want to neglect any, any part of either leg. And there you have it. Do that every day. I'd say once per game that you watch in the playoffs, do this routine. Both legs, suit depending on your in and lunge variation, you can almost call it a very awesome one variation more than one. And I swear your legs will be feeling much better and there won't be so much guilt about spending so much time in front of the TV. Thanks guys. Go Habs.